Hi there, welcome to Master GMAT. My name is Isaac. Today we're going to look at a sentence correction question. And as always, for those of you who want to try it without listening to the explanations first, you can pause the recording and unpause it when you're done. Take as much time as you need to or time yourself in the other, the under two minute uh, margin if you really want to go for the timing as aspect as well. For those of you who just want to uh, listen to the explanations, just listen on. So those of you who want to try, Pause it now. Okay, welcome back. So, what are we looking at over here? First thing we need to do is to look for between zero and two grammatical errors. I repeat, grammar errors. That's what we always look for uh, first, and then we deal with stylistic issues. So we read the sentence, we look for grammar errors, we look for those stop signs that we at Master GMAT teach, those little red flags that are supposed to come up. So. Do we see a red flag? There should be one fairly obvious one, and that little red flag is a pronoun. Whenever we have a pronoun, of course, what do we need to do? We need to check that the noun it's referring to agrees. So what does it uh, refer to? We know that it needs is fine, so we don't have a problem of subject-verb agreement there, but if we look, we are actually referring to the word consumers. Since consumers is plural and it is singular, it does not agree. There is a definite grammar error. Do we see any other grammar errors? Well, maybe not at this point. So what do we do? We know that A is wrong. So we get rid of that. We don't even need to read it. it would be a waste of time. It's the same as the original. So what do we do? B. We look at the answer choices and look for grammar errors there and see if we can spot them. So, most doctors prescribing costly drugs rather than prescribe those recommended by etc. etc. There is another stop sign that we teach, and you'll see it throughout all of these, right? It is the rather than. Rather than tells us that what happens before should be in the same part of speech as what happens afterwards. Here we have most doctors prescribing. On its own, that would be fine, depending on what happens later. However, rather than prescribe, so a non-conjugated verb and a conjugated verb doesn't go together. We can get rid of that. By the way, just to go back a second, uh, none of the ans other answer choices have a problem with it, so we don't have to worry about that aspect. If you notice, they all change it to they, which makes a lot more sense. But over here, we have the problem of rather than, right? What happens before isn't what happens after, not the same part of speech. So we could get rid of B. If you're unsure and you wanted to click on that, you can click on that. You have, of course, the lovely time awareness tool that makes you super aware of how long it takes. You click on that, and it tells you exactly what's going on with this parallelism question. By the way, parallelism is just super important in the GMAT sentence correction. Shows up in all sorts of different ways. So it's worth knowing these things. Even if you only get one of them, it is worth your while. So, you see here that you get a nice brief explanation. Um, if you didn't understand, take a look. You can always send a little commentary and we'll answer you back. Or you can look at the actual summary of the lesson. Right? That lets you basically remember what you're supposed to remember. You don't need the whole lesson, but the little snippet from the lesson that you're supposed to remember when you go to the exam. So, we try again. That's also a cool little feature, right? We don't just give you the answer, we let you try again as based on the information given. So, we see that B doesn't work, A doesn't work, C. Take a look. Did it fix anything? Well, rather than it has a conjugated verb before, non-conjugated after, it's the same thing as B, just flipped around, can get rid of that. Look at this one, that most doctors prescriptions of costly drugs. So here we change things around to show a noun, which is fine on its own, but that most doctors prescriptions of costly drugs rather than prescribe those, oh, we have a problem. Here it's a noun, here it's a conjugated verb. Still doesn't go. If you're not sure, look at the last one. That most doctors prescribe costly drugs rather than prescribe those recommended by government guidelines, etc., etc. So we see that everything else being equal, E actually has the right construction, the right parallel construction, where what happens before rather than is equal to what happens afterwards. So we click on that, and we should get a little, of course, fantastic. 
and we see the explanations and that's it you'd click on continue and you would be ready for the next question which of course would be based on how you performed on this one okay so that's it that's how we deal with a little uh, rather than parallelism question not too difficult but it's worth knowing it's an easy point on the GMAT until next time take care